Hi everyone, my name is Bill Tabret and welcome to my shop in Diamond Head, Mississippi. The shop is in our hangar in our fly-in neighborhood, of course. We've been working on our Volmer VJ22 just about every day, and uh, the last couple days we've been doing a bunch of wiring. So come into the shop here. Well, in the little tiny workshop. We got a huge mess. My son Charlie's been doing some painting on the trim tabs, the control systems. We've been doing a lot of wiring. It's time for a reboot on the shop. I'm embarrassed that it looks like this, but that's what it is when you're working, working, working. Now we just unboxed these radios. We got uh, two radios from uh, Trig, the Transponder and the VHF. We bought them from FlyAeroSport.com. And man, let me tell you something. Normally, I would do all the wiring myself. When you get them, they have all the pins and the wires and the schematics to, to put it together. I, and I splurged. I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the wiring kits. So I bought the wiring kits. Buy the wiring kits. Unless you are just got a lot of time on your hands. So you take the transponder, for example. It's a T22 transponder by Trig. Come on over here, Charlie, if you could follow me. The whole thing weighs 12 ounces, which is crazy low. All right, we don't want to drop the expensive thing. Bringing it back over here. Here's what's involved with wiring. After we mount this, now I'm not talking about the antenna, of course. Plug it in. We got our GPS sensor. All right, plug the appropriate one in. Done. And then this plugs into the head unit on the panel. We have two negative and positive wires, and they're labeled appropriately. Of course, one feeds the transponder, one feeds the GPS positioner. That's it. Job done. There's more, no more to it. Wiring completed. This is our panel. You see the head of the units for both the uh, radio and the transponder are nice little compact units. Very, very lightweight. And this is not a sales pitch. I'm just impressed enough that I'm making a video about it. All right. And the radio is the same way. You got the control head on the radio. Right there. This plug plugs into there. That plugs into there. You have to do your uh, antenna, of course. They come pre-wired with all of your uh, headsets and uh, microphones and all that. You got your two PTT wires. That's push to transmit to call tower or whatever. I put my glasses on here. A couple of speaker wires if you want to hook up an extra uh, external speaker. Ground wire. See how nicely they're labeled. Auxiliary in, so you can have. Uh, it's it's not really these aren't really good for um, multimedia. It's more warnings these sorts of things. And that uh, should be. The intercom PTT. That's it. You can hook these two wires up. Uh, step key and transfer key. That's got to do if you had a joystick and you don't want to reach over and change the radio, you can uh, activate it with that. I may hook them up. I don't know. But I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. It saved me a whole lot of work. I mean, uh, if you're going to buy a radio and transponder, it's really the way to go. Now we're going to hook a Stratus uh, for our ADSB in. Uh, integrate with all of our other components and that's pretty much it um, while you're here you can look at the back of our panel we wired this up yesterday it's all been, you know been greased up properly with the uh, anti-corrosive grease we put uh, sh all shielded uh, heavy-duty wire for both the circuit breakers and the switches this small wire right here uh, really just feeds the uh, the ground for the um, uh, LED lights when they get switched on we're building our schematic as we go, and this will get all prettied up when it's all said and done. But each one of the wires is labeled appropriately as we use up that number. It gets expired down here in this uh, Neanderthal wiring harness that we're building here. The schematic will uh, get transferred to a nice CAD or something like that. All right, but uh, for now, that's it. Have a great day, and uh, again, not a sales pitch, but it's pretty cool, man.
Have fun.